Hey guys, welcome to our next super sweet project, which is going to be food to fork single page recipe application, where we will going to be fetching the recipes from the external API food to fork API. And the user is going to be able to look at the recipes, find out more information about the recipes, get the links for whoever is creating recipes and so on and so forth. Since application is quite big, we are going to go step by step what is happening for each and every page and each and every component. However, before we do anything and look at anything, I just want to let you know that we will going to use the react router to create our page as a single page application, meaning as our user is going to be navigating throughout our application or the project, we are not going to be refreshing the browser at any point. So that's the main key. And that's one of the reasons why this application and the project is going to be so super, super sweet. Okay, so what are we going to be building? Well, first and foremost, there's going to be a nav bar within the nav bar. We're going to have two links. We can click on recipes, then we're going to the recipes page, or we can head over home by again clicking on a home, or we can click here on food to fork logo, which is going to do exactly the same thing. We can also navigate to the recipes by clicking here on the button that's going to be a link where we can again head over to the recipes page. Within the recipes page, there's going to be two components. One is going to allow us to search for a specific recipe, which we are going to look at a little bit later. And the second one is going to be recipe list, which at the moment by default is going to display the 30 most popular recipes for each and every recipe. We have two options. We can either click on the details. So in this case, we're going to head over to a different page, which is going to be single recipe page. And within the recipe page, we notice we have again option for publishers website, and this is going to open up purposely on a new link because I don't want my user to leave my site. And also I have the recipe URL, which is going to bring me to the URL safe explanatory for the same recipe that I just clicked on. Also, we're going to have some ingredients. So let's say for the perfect iced coffee, this is what we're going to be looking for the ingredients. And as always, of course, we can navigate back to the recipe list. And the second one would be the recipe URL. So let's say for the cinnamon rolls, I can click on recipe URL, and this is going to bring me to the recipe URL. So those would be the options for the user within the recipe list, either getting the details about the actual specific recipe, which is going to open up a new page. So the single recipe page. And by the way, I can just again show you how this is going to work. So we have recipes and then we have the ID. So that would be the specific ID for the recipe. And also what we can do is we can search for recipes. So let's say I'm going to be looking for all the beef recipes. And by the way, I have all caps, so we can might as well get rid of that. And the moment I'm going to click on it, notice I'm going to be getting all the recipes that come with the beef. And again, same old spiel. I can get more details, let's say about these guys. And as you can see, we're going to get again, the same information about that specific recipe with that unique ID. However, let's also look at what happens if we're searching for something and the recipe doesn't exist. So let's say I'm going to be looking for react and angular. So whatever recipes that include these angular, this should be correct. And now I'm going to be getting sorry, but your search did not return any results. So we're also going to be checking whether the user is searching for the correct keywords in order to find the recipes. Hopefully you guys will gonna enjoy the project and let's start building our project.